All right, Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson joins us now. Mike, National Weather Service released the final report on that fire. It just details this awful, perfect combination of events that led to this tragedy. A very erudite report, and we have it on the DenverChannel.com website. Uh, worth reading for sure. I've also linked to it on my Twitter page. Uh, the strong winds, certainly a major factor, roaring out of El Dorado Canyon across South Boulder County. But the other part of the equation is very warm weather and very dry conditions. One of the warmest, driest autumns in over a century along the Front Range. And we are seeing an increase in fire weather days across the western part of the United States, especially in Colorado, a 200% increase since 1973. This graphic coming from our friends at Climate Central. So there is a climate change connection to this fire storm that we had in Boulder County. We're seeing it along with the shrinking Arctic ice, the record setting wildfires, not for just from this fire, but from the East Troublesome and the Cameron Peak fire from a year ago, as well as the increased tropical activity worldwide, heat waves and droughts all connected to a changing climate caused from the warming from the increase in carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, about two degrees Fahrenheit in the last 140 years. That coming from the burning of fossil fuels, each molecule of carbon dioxide, you can think of it like a feather in a down comforter. And as we add more of those feathers, if you will, into the atmosphere, it redirects or traps heat from escaping into outer space, warming the planet. Hence, we see the results that I showed you earlier in terms of the changes we're seeing in weather conditions and large storms across the world. 58 the high, 30 the low today. 70 and 25 below are the records and 45 and 19 are the averages. Right now, 49 at the airport, 52 at our studios with a falling pressure and winds from the south. High clouds mild this evening will be about 35 by 11 p.m. Here's the map across the country. Storm track is to the north and northeast of us right now, but this cold front in the Pacific Northwest will slip across Colorado tomorrow night and early Friday and will bring some snow to our state. Now, in advance of it, just some high clouds around. Temperatures by morning will be mostly in the teens and 20s, mountains and west, and in the 20s and 30s along the Front Range. We'll see readings around 34 downtown, 37 at Broomfield, up in the mountains as cold as 2 at Kremlin, but most areas will be in the teens to low 20s in the mountains. And then tomorrow it's 30s and 40s in the mountains, 50s and 60s on the plains, although some 40s up in the South Platte Valley, 60s over southeastern and eastern Colorado, 61 at Ray and Lyman and Burlington for tomorrow, 45 out west at Durango. Here's the map late tomorrow. Clouds increase as that front begins to move in. We get some snow tomorrow night, about, about probably one to three, maybe locally up to four in the mountains and generally flurries on the plains. Then this storm, as it moves east of us, becomes a big deal, a major winter storm expected for the eastern part of the country into the weekend. A lot of snow and sleet and freezing rain. Behind it, mild and dry weather will return for us, so we just get a brief cool down. 57 tomorrow, 43 coming up on Friday. Some flurries expected. Windy and 38 on Saturday, and then it's right back into the 50s again Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. By next Wednesday, just a bit cooler with a high of 48.